one day a while back, I got up one morning and I thought I would fix me and my siblings some breakfast. And I found a small chunk of homemade bread that my mom had made a few days ago and frozen. I decided this bread is frozen. I'm gonna stick it in the microwave. I stick it in the microwave. I heat it for half, half a minute, maybe a minute. Take it out. I slice a piece off, cut it up, give it to the sibling. I put the bread back in the microwave. And I repeated that again and again. I did that three times and then it got to my turn. And the bread chunk was still frozen. I put it back in the microwave, you know. I turn my back and I start talking to one of my siblings. And I don't know what was wrong with that bread, but I think at that point it had had enough because smoke started pouring out of the bottom of the microwave and I about had a heart attack. So I was sitting there afraid to open the microwave while it was still going so I waited about 10 or 12 more seconds and smoke is pouring out of the microwave and it's still going and opened it up and there sat the bread with a big black hole in it. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I was just thinking to the future of my channel. I want to do some squishy makeovers. <laughs> That's not what we're doing today, but that sometime in the future, there may be some squishy makeovers going on. So if you haven't hit that subscribe button, cause you probably are not gonna wanna miss that. <laughs> I've never done it before, so it should be interesting. I do a lot of candy themed stuff when I craft or draw. I got thinking, how could I make some fake sprinkles? I have decided to film that for you. All you need, craft foam and scissors. You can find this at Walmart. You can find them in the crafts aisle, somewhere near like where the Elmer's glue is and the coloring books. Really, all you're gonna need to do, take this sheet. We'll, we'll be doing it for all of these because I don't just want one color of sprinkles. So. We will be, seriously, all you do, take your scissors and really, really thinly, I mean, if, if you want really thick sprinkles, you just cut a thick lines, but for me, I want those small, reasonable sized sprinkles. So you just cut a thin line like this. You can cut it all the way up here if you want, I'm just gonna do this for now. And you just repeat that, but don't, don't cut them off yet, just leave them like this and just keep cutting all the way. After you're done with this stuff, you just drain them as best you can. Oh, get in there, come on. There. And then you just hover long you want the sprinkle speed, you just cut a straight line. And they all fall off. That is it for these sprinkles. Now all I have to do is just find a place to put them. And I did not get that before I started the video, so I should probably look for some place to put them. You got a Ziploc. Now you just throw these in a Ziploc and you are good to go. Okay, next, next thing. Okay, so I don't know about you, but making friendship bracelets, like with the rainbow loom, rubber bands, was really popular when I was little. I don't know if it's still a thing, but it was definitely a thing then. And I've got a lot of rubber bands that I never use for anything. So I thought, wait a minute, what if I cut those into little sections and make sprinkles out of these? So that is another idea. So you get your scissors and you do the same thing that you did with the foam. You just cut the little rubber bands into little pieces. If you don't have foam and you have these little rubber bands laying everywhere, 
was a great way to use these. So let's start cutting these up. So I would say it's faster to make the foam sprinkles, but if you don't have foam, I would use these. I'm just probably not going to be using these a lot. It's going to take a while to cut all these, so I'm just going to leave it at this. So that is it, you guys. Thank you for watching this video. I hope these ideas helped you. If there's anything crafty or artsy or anything you've been wanting to know how to make definitely put those in the comments it helps me come up with video ideas and i know it helps you guys so you have a beautiful day and i will see you in the next video